Why has OneNote changed? It's not the same. It's missing all of these features. It's gotten worse. I hear this kind of feedback a lot about OneNote, but the good news is that OneNote actually hasn't changed. Windows 10 actually ships with a free app version of OneNote. It's simply called OneNote, and you can download it from the Microsoft Store. Saving is automatic in both versions of OneNote. We can work with ink or with text, images and videos. You can email content into OneNote. You can use lines on the page. You can search your handwritten notes. You can create to-dos and tagging. You can also sync your OneNote notes with OneDrive, both the personal and business accounts across multiple devices. So what's the difference between the two? Looking at the desktop version, there are some unique features that we have available to us. We have handwriting recognition, for example, on the device. In other words, we can convert our ink to text. We also have some really great integrations with Outlook with both email and the calendar and bringing information from Outlook into OneNote. There's some advanced tagging features, the ability to print into OneNote using a print engine. There's also audio recording and working with legacy drives. So for example, you can save notes in OneNote desktop on your C drive, on a USB stick, or even on a network drive in your business. Why use the OneNote app? Better battery life. It's really great for taking all day notes. It's a much simpler and easier to use interface. It starts much faster. It also has camera and office lens integration so that you can take a photo of a slide or a whiteboard directly into OneNote. It's got some fancy pens and pencils now, and it's actually free for all users. You can share a single page. In the desktop version, you can only share a whole notebook. Ink replay, ink to math, and shape recognition built right into one, the OneNote app. There's page preview, so when we're looking at our list of pages, we can see pictures of the ink. The other great thing about the app is that it's updated every month with new features. So we actually expect to see a lot of the features that currently aren't there in OneNote in the app turn up in future. So which one should I use? If you just need an app to take some quick notes, then the OneNote app version is fantastic. I use it a lot in conferences when I want to run all day long and not have to worry about battery life. When I'm at the desk, I tend to use the desktop version a lot just because it has a lot more functionality. There's a lot of features in the desktop version that really help me to stay organized. But there's a place for both versions. I actually keep both versions running on my Surface and keep them both in sync. And because I'm storing my notes on the cloud in OneDrive, I can keep the two versions with the same information. The good news is that both versions of OneNote will continue on for many years to come. So if you're missing some features in the OneNote that you're currently using, perhaps you're using the app version of OneNote and you might wanna have a look at the desktop version, OneNote 2016. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to our videos for more Surface Pro 